So our first presentation today is from Eric Johnsrud, and for Eric's senior project, he designed, built, and programmed a robot. Seattle area teenager Eric Johnsrud's creation moves decisively and with agility, forward, backward, even sideways, thanks to specialized wheels, a high school that emphasizes math, science, and innovation, and oh yes, lots of hard work. When I saw the robot go sliding left to right using my mechanism wheels, that was the highlight of my robot. I was basically jumping up and down because I designed and built those mechanism wheels. With proud parents watching and fellow students at Mount Lake Terrace High School engrossed, the robot's final trick raises Eric's grade, but also symbolizes the elevation of a new category of learning. One small lift for Eric's robot, one giant leap for pre-engineering education in Washington State. A group of teachers formed the concept of the Innovation School around using technology. Senior projects like Eric's robot and Casey Wang's wireless cable TV repeater would have been nearly impossible without the school district's vision for the Mount Lake Terrace Innovation School, plus the funding of multiple computer labs and other equipment not found at most high schools, plus teachers passionate to make math, science, and technology relevant to young people, and finally, a course curriculum for grades 9 through 12. Enter Project Lead the Way. It was a perfect marriage. Um, both were heading in the same direction. Um, it was a rigorous curriculum that provided exactly what the Innovation School needed, and uh, it has worked well. With encouragement, mentoring, and teacher support from AEA of Washington, Project Lead the Way pre-engineering courses are now being taught in 28 schools in 13 Washington districts. The results? Madison is now seeing kids smiling about science and technology. AEA board member Daniela Pierce hopes her company will soon have more local engineering grads to recruit. It is a way to capture the young minds of very early age and really form them and get them interested in uh, science and art and uh, combination of left and right brain. If you don't invest in the future, you won't have a future and those young minds are our future. Engineering teacher Craig Devine and his students have discovered that future engineers don't have to change their personality or fit a certain mold. And I think of, of, of Chloe, or I think of Renee, or I think of um, other students who all of a sudden are really enjoying this kind of technically oriented thing, and they have all kinds of roles. They're not necessarily the ones who are cutting or building or grinding or shaping the parts, but they might be people forming the strategy for how we actually uh, operate or you know, uh, program the robot. Senior project presentations are the ultimate show and tell for these teenagers, and although their life's work is just starting to take shape, the Innovation School and Project Lead the Way are providing the initial spark for a new career. When you see the light in the student's eye, when as they're being asked questions, you actually understand, you know, you really get it. Um, you know, this is not for show. Um, I can ask you engaging questions and you're able to meet the challenge. It's not simple, it's not a quick fix, but parents, teachers, students, and high-tech leaders agree that pre-engineering education is slowly changing the culture of Washington high schools. Where we get away from this thought that, well, how can I go through high school and, you know, do as little work as possible, to how can I go through high school and do some of these exciting things.